hello. We decided to do a third baby Q&A since we haven't been on here in a minute. A lot of people have been asking questions about baby number three. So we let people submit questions on Instagram and we have a list. There were hundreds and hundreds of questions asked, but a lot of them were the same. So we haven't really read I will through read these. the questions. I'm be a little surprise. What are you most excited about with baby number three? I love the hospital, the three days in the hospital. Just like finding out what it is is such a joy when you don't find out what you're having um, because it's just such a shake up in your family, like either way, you know, one way or the other. Um, it's just so exciting. And I love those days in the, in the hospital. I'm also excited because we did do the surprise nursery again. So there's a deadbolt on our nursery in our new house. They've already started working on it. So I'm really excited to see the nursery too. For that big reveal because I always have no idea what they've done. They know the gender we do not. Yeah my, my favorite thing is when they pull the baby out and I get to tell <laughs> Mal the gender. I'm excited to see how the boys react yes, and just I their interaction excited. with their new little brother or sister um, and we're moving too so I'm excited just for all of us to be in a new space. We love our house now but just to be in a new big space Yeah. Um, with a new baby I think it's going to be a really special season in mm -hmm. our life. How are you prepping for the new baby big move within weeks of each other? We have done nothing to prepare for the new baby. Zero. I feel like after you already <laughs> have two though, you've got everything. You've got the cribs, you've got, and you know they don't need much. They don't need much. Um, So I just think it's easier with the third, especially if we have a boy, we've got everything. That we poor have kid won't have anything new. But if it's a girl, um, we'll, we'll have to get some new yes. things for her. Which you can order online after, you know, when you're sitting in the hospital. It's like yeah. so easy to get stuff. So the move is either going to happen the week before we have the baby or the week after. So regardless, I'm going to be having a baby and moving like probably within the same week unless something gets held up. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, like why are you doing everything at the same time? We've kind of always done everything. At the same time, we release a book, we're having a new baby, we're doing the move, like we, it's just, it's just how we roll. There's a merch launch in there. Yeah, there's a merch launch I have to shoot for, literally nine months pregnant. Um, so I just, we just roll with it. We just get enough people to help to where it's not like I'm gonna be lifting a dresser, dresser. Um, and we're just gonna do it. I'm not that nervous about it, I'm like, whatever. It's exciting, it's all exciting. If you have exciting things happen in your life and you get stressed about them, it's like it ruins the excitement of the best things that happen. You're just craving during this pregnancy. Uh, you haven't really craved anything. Bagels, I'm really wanting bagels all the time. I don't yeah. know. I mean, I don't salty, salty lemon water. Yeah, but you you've had that with the other one. She likes like lemon lemon water with a bunch of salt in it. It tastes like the, the ocean. Dang ocean. <laughs> How do you think Kyle will be as a girl dad if the baby is a girl? Oh, the best, Kyle. I always say I would like, love a girl. The the best surprise, not surprise, because I knew he would be a good dad, but like seeing your spouse as a parent, you never know how, unless you marry someone that has children already. You never know what kind of parent they're going to be, and he is the best dad I have ever seen to boys, so I can only imagine to girls. Well, as are you. I hope we just need some female energy in the house. <laughs> My poor wife is outnumbered, especially with the dog. It's okay, I would take um, three boys. So yeah, we'll be happy with whatever. What names do you have picked out? Um, okay, so we... I've got the girl name. So our girl name, which we're keeping under wraps, because if this is a girl, we want it to be a surprise. Also, it's a very rare name. So, um, but the boy name, we do not have a name. And we're actually really struggling with the boy name. So much that we've thought about using Shepard's middle name as the name because we literally have no names. <laughs> and we have like read every baby name list and like really thought about it. Boy names are so, impossible for me for some reason and for Kyle. Yeah, we uh, Shepard didn't have a name till a few days after he was born. Mm -hmm. And then Ford we thought about a few days before he was born. So we kind of always wait until the last minute and boy names have always been hard for us. Yeah. But we shall see. Maybe hopefully we'll have a girl because we have that name picked out. <laughs> Kyle Jr. 
Yeah. <laughs> um, when is your due date? Um, about June 24th ish. We're okay. scheduling my C section uh, at the next appointment. So I had two babies close together. I have a thin spot in my uterus, so I do not have an option of a VBAC. So it will be a scheduled C section. And uh, about June 24th is Okay. Well. What is different about this pregnancy so far? Um, so if you guys follow us on Instagram, you know that my journey to this pregnancy was a lot different. Ford and Shepard got pregnant, carried them easily besides the gestational diabetes. This one, I had uh, four miscarriages in between Shepard and, and getting pregnant with this baby. Through a whole year of testing and everything, they found out that I have a blood clotting disorder. So, the biggest difference has been the journey to this pregnancy. Luckily, we get pregnant really easily, but like I could not hold the pregnancies and we couldn't figure out why. It's this blood clotting disorder called antiphospholipid syndrome. So I have to take a Lovenox injection that I started three days uh, post ovulation and I, I have done every day since then. They'll back it off 24 hours before the C-section and then I'll do it I think for like four months after. That's been different and then I have not been diagnosed with gestational diabetes yet. That's a big difference. Thoughts on going from two to three kids nervous about being outnumbered. I don't think, a little at first, the Ford is being very helpful. So I think that's a different dynamic with this one to where when we just had Ford and Chef, they can do anything for themselves to where now they're getting a little older. Um, so it, I'm not as nervous now as I was. Uh -huh. I also think that Ford and Shepard are like thickest thieves. They are the best of friends and they, having two made it easier in a way um adding a second child it gave the other one like a constant playmate and best friend and so we have high hopes for this third one because having a second one really made everything a lot easier and better in a weird way i know that the outnumbering thing is probably going to be a little bit big everyone says two to three is the biggest jump um so we shall see <laughs> Ford and Shepard are just going to be like so happy to help. Kyle, I'm going to turn my phone off. What do you love most about pregnant Mallory? Well, <laughs> I like at Ugh. night after the day is done, <laughs> she takes some kind of grease she's got in her bathroom and greases that big old belly. And I'll call him laying in bed. And I can just see the gleam of the television just shining across that, <laughs> that big old moon of a belly. So. Um, I always tell Mal, I like, uh, I like how she looks when she's very, very pregnant. Yeah, late, that's like his favorite, trimester. that's his favorite version of me, is very pregnant to me, so, which is great. Yep. <laughs> what do y'all think you're having, a boy or a girl? So I thought, girl, 95% until about a month or so ago, and Kyle started getting wishy-washy, so I was like, is he sensing something that I don't know? So now I'm kind of wishy-washy. I would say I'm 60-40, 60, 60 girl, 40 boy. If we were going based on Mal's pregnancy and being sick and it being different from the boys, I'd say girl, but I keep on seeing signs of like these families with all boys. <laughs> so I'm leaning towards another boy because I can see oh, I, for Lord. some reason it just, I think it fits. So oh. how do Ford and Chef feel about the new baby? They. I think they're gonna do great. So our nephew, George, they love and adore and wanna help with his bottle and his passy and just rub his little feet. So I think um, they will be great, great big bro brothers. Don't yes, you? and they keep like looking at me and being like, is it a girl baby or a boy baby? Yeah. They, they notice the belly and they know there's a baby in there and they are gonna be the best. Will this be the last baby? I don't know. Kyle thinks that it's gonna be the last baby. I think it's a toss up. Um, my OB was like, I need to see what the inside of your uterus looks like before I can tell you for sure if it will be safe for you to have another one. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know that it ever feels like you're really done. So maybe it's just a feeling everyone has. But then again, I've heard people be like, oh, I knew it was over. Yeah, so three's good for us. <laughs> <laughs> How has your blood sugar been health during this pregnancy? Um, my, I'm not diagnosed yet with gestational diabetes, but my blood sugars are climbing as I'm into the third trimester, which is typically when diabetes gets worse and worse. 
my morning fasting numbers are supposed to be below 95 and they've all been kind of in the low one like 101 or like 103 they haven't put me on anything yet so fingers crossed but they did tell me to rein it in this week which leads with me the bagels. to the next question would you say this pregnancy is easier since the health changes you made before yes I would 100% say that. I was much sicker this pregnancy, um, which made the beginning tough. But like, I'm in my third trimester. I've only got like, you know, less than eight weeks to go. Um, if I'm counting right, maybe less than that. I don't know. Um, and I feel good. Like, I was so uncomfortable at the end with the other two because I was so big, which I'm still really big. But, um, 100% and I attribute uh, like getting pregnant and carrying a healthy pregnancy a lot to the health changes that I made too. That's all the questions. Okay, well, we hope that you enjoyed this little Q&A. We are so excited, like I said earlier, it's been a long journey to this baby and we are just so grateful every day that we're carrying a healthy pregnancy and a healthy baby after everything that happened and we're just so excited, um, two months away. I can't wait. <laughs>